Welcome back to Learn Responsive Design on Code Academy. We're in the sizing elements section. This is percentages, padding, and margin. And it says percentages can also be used to set the padding and margin of elements. When height and width are set using percentages, you learn that the dimensions of child elements are calculated based on the dimensions of the parent element. When percentages are used to set padding and margin, however, they are calculated based only on the width of the parent element. For example, when a property like margin left is set using a percentage, say 50%, the element will be moved halfway to the right in the parent container as opposed to the child element receiving a margin, half of its parent's margin. Vertical padding and margin are also calculated based on the width of the parent. Why? Consider the following scenario. 1. A container div is defined, but its height is not set, meaning it's flat. The container then has a child element added within. The child element does have a set height. This causes the height of its parent container to stretch to that height. The child element requires a change and its height is modified. This causes the parent container's height to also stretch to the new height. This cycle occurs endlessly whenever the child element's height is changed. In the scenario above, an unset height, the parents, results in a constantly change in height due to changes to the child element. This is why vertical padding and margin are based on the width of the parent and not the height. Note, when using relative sizing, M's and REMs should be used to size text and dimensions on the page related to text size, i.e. padding around text. This creates a consistent layout based on text size. Otherwise, percentages should be used. Instructions. Let's size the height of the banner relative to the root element's font size. In style.css, set the height in the ID banner to 46 rem. So if we go here and we look for ID, so if we go here and we look for the ID banner, which is there, and we give it a height of 46 rem. Run this. So that set our banner here to have a height of 46 rem. And like it says here, the root element font size is 16 pixels, meaning that 46 rem will result in a height of 736 pixels. Number two. Set the top margin in blog post to 12.5%. So if we go here, we see blog post here. Top margin, so that is done with margin top 12.5%. Okay, let's see the next one it says set the bottom margin in blog post to 7.5. So here we are again at blog post. We want to set that to 7.5. So margin bottom 7.5%. Run this. Last, it says set the bottom margin in images to 20%. So we look for class images and we do bottom margin bottom 20% run that okay so that's it for this lesson in the following ones we're still going to continue working out our site to be more responsive we still see these images need to be fixed and we will continue this on the next lessons. I'll see you guys there. This was percentages, padding, and margin on Codecademy's 
Learn Responsive Design course.